Let me introduce the pod. We got Sacramento rapper CML, Lavish D, Heavyweight Hank. Hank. Yeah. A lot of names. Yeah, heavyweight, man. Heavyweight. Man, I just appreciate you uh, taking the time and coming to sit down with me. This is dope. Nah, it's all good. All right, to start off the pod, I want to ask, what is Mainline Skate Park to you? Huh? You ever heard of Mainline Skate Park? Nah. Okay. Well, back in the day, there was a skate park, and you would frequent it, and uh, you one time you let the homie wear the chain one time. A banked up chain. Oh, you talking about El Grove? Yeah, it's called Mainline Skate Park. Yeah, you talking about El Grove off of, uh, off of Waterman? Way, yeah, way back out there. Yeah, oh god. Oh yeah, it's off of Mainline. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah, I'm out of there. Yeah. So I mean, what, what what's up with that? What that was like the most randomest thing seeing Lavish D at the skate park in El oh, Grove. Oh, was there? I was there. Yeah. Yeah. A couple like once or, but I I heard it was like. You you would pop up kind of frequently type shit. Nah, because my mom used to live around there, so mm. I used to just you feel me probably to jump in my bins and just slide up over there. Cause at the time I was on ankle monitor. Oh okay. But I was on like a GPS monitor. You feel what I'm saying? So I'd be able to leave and shit. I'd just be you feel me go over there, like shoot little videos and shit, just have them and little shit like that. You dig? And I used to lie, I used to wear the DCs a lot. Mm. So I used to go up there and show them my DCs and shit. You feel me? They had little fans and shit. And I, fu- and I was fucking with them. Now. Yeah, I know. I mean, I just think it's kind of tight that you let the hubby rock the chain and take a pic with him and shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's dope. But did you ever uh, finish the documentary uh, Lavish D vs. EGPD? Nah, I was just talking. I was just <laughs> talking on that shit. <laughs> I was just talking shit. They was fucking with me, man. You, you know, know what, what video I'm talking about? I'm yeah, referring I used to be talking shit and I had to fade. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm going to sue him and all this talking hella shit. You feel I know what you're talking about. Man, that shit was wild when I was watching that because it was just it was wet. It was just crazy how you just were recording this whole encounter and talking your and shit. Talking crazy. Talking crazy, man. man. <laughs> that yeah, shit was, was wild. Well, shit, uh, let's just start off in the beginning of the, you know, the CML story. Like, where were you born at? I was born in Oakland. Born in Oakland. Yeah. Okay. And then when did you migrate to Sacramento? Shit, uh, baby, like like a kid, a little small kid, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, kid, like, wasn't even in school yet type shit. You okay, know really young. Yeah. And do you have any siblings or anything like that? Yeah, that's my that's my sister right there. I mean, that's my brother right there. <laughs> that's my brother right there, Prince Jada. You feel me? Yeah, that's one of my brothers. I got a few brothers and sisters though. Like actually, blood brother though. Like, yeah, same mom and dad. You know, how people say you know that's nah, my yeah, brother. Same and mom and dad. You feel me? Damn. And then who's older? Him. Okay, so that's big bro. Right there. Nah, that, that's my older. That's big bro. <laughs> that's my that's my little brother. That's my big break kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's my little brother. Okay, damn. So wait, uh what made you what made you guys go from Oakland to Sac? Oh shit, man. You know, it was wild in the eighties. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's wild, you know. Drugs. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say gang members, gang banging, but there's different type of uh shit in Oakland, you know what I'm saying? It's like more like mob and turf wars and shit like that. So my dad was in, you feel me, in the streets. But he was from Richmond. You dig what I'm saying? You know where Richmond at, right? Yeah. Yeah, my dad from Richmond, mom from Oakland. All my family really like from Oakland, though. Like my mom's side of the family from Oakland. My dad's side from the rich. Mm. So whatever they had going on, you know what I'm saying? Migrated to Sacramento. And you were t- you were kind of too young to kind of comprehend what was going down type shit? Shit, I was just I was just in the car riding, man. Mm. I'm on my way. Where we going? Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm there. Okay, so then what what's it like growing up in Sacramento? I mean, shit, I don't know what it was like growing up nowhere else, but I'm I'm ready I'm pretty sure it's like every other ghetto, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna say it like that because it's places in Sacramento that, you know, motherfuckers don't see the ghetto side, you know what I'm saying? Like the downtown areas, the Folsom areas, the Rosevilles, you know. So, you know, we grew up in that G Parkway, Mac Road and shit like that, South Sac, you know, mm-hmm. it's a little bit different, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, I mean, when I asked you where you're born at, I was hoping you were going to say Sacramento so then I could I could ask if it was the Kaiser there in South Sac because that's where I was born. Oh, yeah, at, nah. at, in the, at the Kaiser right there. I didn't been, I didn't been to Kaiser, but not, not, not for that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... What what kind of student were you like in school, or like? Bro, I was bad, bro. I was mm. a badass kid, bro. Like I used to have these niggas, you know, what I'm saying fighting and shit. Remember that shit, bro? 
how these niggas beating up kids and shit. I was always like, I ain't gonna say no bully. I was just always like the big homie, you know what I'm saying? Then my little brothers was bad as fuck. My little cousins was bad as fuck. I was like the little leader. Elementary, you know what I'm saying? Always was bad, always getting suspended, always doing stupid shit. Hmm. But as I got older, I was just like, start getting on some player shit, you know what I mean? Start wanting to have shit, you know what I'm saying? Like nice shit, you know? You know when you ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it be a little, I don't know the word for it, but it be just like a lot of anger built up. You know what I'm saying? Were you, were you seeing people, you know, be successful and you wanted that type shit or? Man, shit, I don't know what success is back then, but I had some white friends and some Asian friends that had some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't never went, ain't never went to school with, like, I'm gonna keep it real. When niggas start going to school and shit, like, we ain't never, like, probably the first three days in school or the school year, first three days into the year, like, we probably take a lunch to school. First three days just to fit in, look cool. After that, it's ugly. It's over with, you know what I'm saying? You standing in that line. Free lunch type shit, mm. you know what I mean? You got the ticket, you know what I'm saying? The raffle ticket, you go, shit like that, you know what I mean? Sack lunches and shit, so it's like, of course a nigga, you feel me, wanna look at uh, a nigga looking at everybody else play like, damn, this nigga got, you know what I'm saying, fruit snacks and, you know what I'm saying, chips and apple juices. Nigga, we got this bullshit right here, but hey, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't nothing. So it was kind of like a thing of just like, damn, even just, because I, I, I was thinking on like a, like a success level where you see people in shiny cars and you see that, but it, this is even way more stripped down to like the kids having lunch at school. Like that's when it hits you where it's like, damn, like it, I need to get money type shit. I mean, shit, not at that age, you know what I'm saying? I just, but it was I, building up that no, kind of sure, energy. For sure. That age, a nigga was more so on some shit. I could just take this nigga at lunch. You know mm. what I'm saying? Shit, he ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They already scared. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no disrespect. The nigga black, you feel what I'm saying? They already think a nigga crazy, so you feel I me? Mean? But I was really like a cool nigga, though, you feel me? I wasn't like a bully, though. I was like the nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I bullied the bullies, like, you know what I'm saying? On some real shit, though. It, it seems like if you were in my class, you'd be kind of funny. I feel like you have a sense of humor where it's like, I kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, uh, he's going he's gonna to make the class fun. Nah, for Might sure. Might distract the class, but he's definitely going to make it fun and entertaining. Nah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Nigga was for sure the class clown, funny as fuck, making everybody laugh. And that's what was getting the nigga in trouble, though. You dig what I'm saying? Teacher trying to teach, and then you cracking jokes, laughing, you know what I'm saying? You probably got Playboy magazines and shit, like oh, badass kids, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. But, you know, that was kid shit, though. So, what era was the badass youngins? The badass youngsters? Bad, badass youngsters, excuse me. That was like 99, like, pretty like 98, 99, 2000, up until like 2004, probably. You know what I'm saying? Start just and that was just the, the energy of just being a bad kid, badass kid? Badass youngsters, you know what I'm saying? All the badass kids or everybody, that, all the badass kids or whoever wanted, whoever was good and wanted to be bad. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't be a part of this badass youngsters. You oh, so how deep were you guys? Bro, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. On oh, God, that's on my mama, bro. I swear to God, it was a and, and niggas can't argue with this shit. Like it was a point of time, bro. Like in '99, like 2000, 2001, 2002, like like everybody in Sacramento was trying to be badass chances, or they claimed badass chances. Even our ops, like like on oh, mm -hmm. God, like you feel me? I ain't gonna say every person in Sac, but like majority, they like nobody can fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? That's why we like stood out and. Got a reputation like that. And how mean? old were you at this time? Niggas was like 16, 15, and shit like that. Like kids. Like niggas was bad. Terrorizing the functions? Nigga, walking, nigga. Oh, God. Nigga, we walking the fight, bro. Swear to God. Oh, y'all think y'all tough, nigga. We on your way. We'll be in an hour, nigga. We on our way. <laughs> nigga, nigga, we ride bikes. You guys, walking. A, you guys had a call? 100 deep. Huh. You guys had a call? Youngsters. Remember <laughs> <laughs> that? Youngsters. We used to go crazy, right? Oh, God. Wow. Off that. You remember that? I don't know if you remember that. was that Buster Rhymes starting to say, Buster, what it is right now. Buster. But we used to say, Youngsters, what, what it, it is, is right, right now. now. Oh, wow. I'm talking about whooping shit. Disrespected. <laughs> we on your ass. Damn. 
So was was this just <laughs> she was hella funny though. Was this just on some uh you know neighborhood street shit or was it like rapping too? Nah, mm-hmm. we was rapping, bro. Like like don't get me wrong, you feel me? Like we just feel like at that at that time we was just free. I was hella tight in rapping. Like always been tight in rapping. Like and it was like all the main niggas was tight in rapping. Like all our main niggas, but we was we was from the streets. You dig what I'm saying? We wasn't killing nobody. Like we wasn't even carrying guns. Probably you dig what I'm saying at the time, but. As we got older, you know what I'm saying? It was just more so on some shit like niggas thinking like, okay, in order to be a rapper, you got to be a gangster. You dig what I'm saying? Type shit. So that's where the nigga we rapping, we got to live what we rapping type mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause just, just stupid at, shit. At the time in Sacramento, who's the notable artist coming out of there? Like, it wasn't nobody. Was there a there. scene? Uh, we were just like rapping at parties and shit, like rapping at parties, you know what I'm saying? It's like a few other niggas, I ain't finna give niggas no credit though, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I ain't giving niggas no shout outs, I ain't giving niggas no fame. Some niggas ain't where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas ain't working, man, they wasn't working, so I can't can't help them niggas out. My, hey, my niggas here, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. Let me ask you this, did you have any encounters with Mac Dre? Yeah, Mac Dre was cool. Cause he was in Sacramento yeah, back yeah, in the Mac day, Dre right? Yeah, Mac Dre was a good nigga, that nigga was like, Mac Dre was like our big homie, you feel me? Like just real nigga shit, like you feel me? Like niggas don't like to hear that shit. Like I can say some shit to make niggas mad. I ain't scared of nobody. I don't give a fuck, but it ain't that serious. But Mac Dre, like all that shit that he was doing, like that shit really came from my hood. Like on God, like on my mama. Ain't no disrespect to Mac Dre. Ain't no disrespect to this. Ain't no disrespect to nobody. Like, like they know. You feel what I'm saying? Like all that. Like, like I always say it, you feel me? Like, that go stupid and go all that shit. That, that was my nigga name, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that was a nigga name, stupid. Mm-hmm. He was from my hood, G Parkway, you feel what I'm saying? Like, straight up, you feel me? Like, everybody could vouch for this shit. He was with something terrible, you feel me? If you remember who something terrible was, if you know the history of the Mac Dre shit, something terrible. Mac Dre has kind of like discovered something terrible. You get what I'm saying? They was already rapping. They was already doing their thing. They was already getting money and shit. But they, you feel me, used to be going stupid and going dumb and shit. But my nigga stupid. They used to be like, go stupid, go stupid. But it was really saying, nigga, like, go laugh, go laugh. You feel me? But this is name stupid. Mm-hmm. So that shit blew up like on some shit like that. Like, nobody came. Like, I don't give a fuck where you from. The Bay. Anywhere, Sacramento, nigga, on my mama, bro. Like, on God, like, that shit came from my nigga. You feel me? Like, my nigga, stupid swoop, I swear to God. Wow. And him dancing, but him and Mac Dre, you feel me, was like this. You dig what I'm saying? So, Mac Dre was older. So, it's like me being older. You feel what I'm saying? Me being an older nigga, but I'm fucking with the younger crowd. Mm-hmm. I got the money. You know what I'm saying? I might got the chains. I might be shining. They might be shining too, but I, I got a little bit more. You feel me? So, I'm taking what they doing and staying in with the trend you feel what i'm saying so that's what was popping type shit mm-hmm. he was like oh, i like these niggas style you dig what i'm saying like on some shit like that so that's how the some terrible shit really came along you feel me but that was my nigga name stupid though but niggas don't get them niggas take credit i give them their credit because i know what's up though you feel mm-hmm. what i'm saying so oh god so he was around though you were around him when he was in yeah, Sacramento. yeah oh, my sure. mama that nigga used to always come to the hood he had to had the Cougar, if you remember, nigga had the the gray S five hundred on the uh, the rims that spin. They go on my mama, they go on God. He had the Range Rover. Now I swear to God, he had an Afro at first, but on my mm-hmm. mama, on Jesus Christ. And I remember the first time I met him. I swear to Jesus Christ, the nigga pulled up in the alley. We call it the murder alley. He pulled up in the alley, and I was just like, who is this? I was a young nigga with some rank though. You feel me? Like on oh God, like I was a young nigga, like moving you feel me had a hundred young niggas up under me you feel what i'm saying nigga we moving nigga trap houses all the shit but we just badass kids but we selling weed selling crack we carrying guns now you feel me damn near and that nigga pulled up one day and you know it used to be a lot of shit going on you feel me because like i say like majority of my hood came from the bay you dig what i'm saying like on some they found our parents and shit was from the bay it was really like like family type shit but like our family our parents came from the bay and they all had kids around the same age. You dig what I'm saying? So he pull up in the uh he pull up in the hood one day and I'm just looking, I'm like, Blue, who the fuck is this nigga right here with these big ass glasses on? He has some big ass glasses on, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. swear to God. Wow. And I'm like, man, who the fuck is this nigga? He had an afro and they go, God, I'll never forget, I swear to God. And I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? And I walked up on the nigga, on my mama, I swear to God, on my mama, mama take her last breath right now, and on God, I love that woman to death. I walked up on this nigga car, and I'm like, bro, he was in the Cougar. And I'm like, 
I'm like, what's up, my nigga? You good? And he was like, yeah. And I could tell, I ain't gonna say he was scared, but he knew for sure we ain't the niggas you cool with right now. Cause we don't know you. You feel me? We ain't stupid swoop. We ain't sauce. We ain't Chuck. We ain't these niggas. Them are all the homies though. You feel me? Like facts though. But we don't know you. You know what I'm saying? We the niggas in this project though right here. Yeah. So I could tell he was like kind of like, damn, these niggas tripping. You feel me? And he was like, nah, nigga. But he said a name. He was like, nah, I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for stupid nigga. What the whoop whoop. And I'm like, okay, okay. He was like, yeah, my nigga, I'm Dre, nigga, with the whoop. And I'm like, all right, you good, bro. You feel me? They're my bros, you feel me? It's good, nigga. I'm just, you know, just checking. It's a lot going on. He's like, no, nah, I know you is, whoop. So ever since that day, every time I used to see that nigga, like at side shows or anything, you feel me? Because, like, we wasn't with the same crowd. Like, those was my niggas from my hood. They was, like, older doing their thing. Like, we wasn't really going dumb and shit like that. Like, I'm going to just keep it real. Like, we was really, like, on some gangster shit. You dig what I'm saying? There was my niggas, they was having money, you feel me? But we wasn't really with the dancing and shit. We had danced sometimes, but my crowd was really like on some gangster shit. Like, cause niggas was like taking niggas as a joke. Like all them niggas just dancers type shit, you feel me? I'm just saying how outside, outside niggas looked at my hood like all day. Cause them niggas was the face of the hood. But when you come into the hood, then you got niggas like me and niggas like they little brothers and that's really with that bullshit though, yeah. you feel me? So Dre was cool though, on God though. Like, I really respect that nigga. And, I feel like a lot of tables be turned to if he was alive though right now. God, good nigga. Yeah, I know the rap game would definitely be different if a lot of these artists were still around, man. I just think that's a legendary ass story and it's wild. And you know, I feel like not a lot of people even bring up the fact that Mac Dre was in Sacramento a lot. Man, that nigga, man, Sac, man, that nigga know, man. That nigga always gave it up for Sacramento, always gave it up for G Parkway. Like they was on my niggas was on his main like some of his main songs like that la 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 lots of paper yeah. that this dance them, them my niggas from my hood on them songs like on God on my mama Damn. you feel me like, so were you rapping at the time I was rapping but I told you I was on some gangster shit we was like we was rapping right but I think back then I was fucking with like Goodfella or bef that was before like I was fucking with Goodfella though you know I said my nigga Melly Mel and shit but. Like we was younger, you feel me? So like we were still trying to find a way. And like I said, I wasn't really taking rapping serious back then. I was having money selling dope and being a badass youngster, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they was doing their shit and they was for surely the motivation. They was coming through foreign cars and shit like that. I had some foreign shit back then too, you feel me? I had Lexus back then and shit like that. But yeah, that's when I started taking shit serious, kinda like, you feel me? Like, but I would really didn't know the game. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Like I didn't have a I'd had a back in like them niggas, like Mac Dre, you feel me? Yeah. But it was good. It felt good to say it's I was from It's kind of motivating, though, to see. Damn. Nah, for sure. It felt good to say I was from G Parkway because I'm really from over here and I'm really my homies, you feel what I'm saying? Like, shit like that, you feel me? Fuck. Like, wasn't no heads or nothing like that. Damn, that's wild. So, what was, what was like the first time making music like for you? Do you mm. remember it? Like, you're in the closet with the homies, you're in the studio. Nah, what's what's the vibe? I'm going to keep it real. The first time, like, like I used to always record on like you feel me. I don't know if you like if you know this. We know about this shit. Like, but it was a, it was a way like we could set up like a karaoke boom, and you could have a boom box, but you could be playing like. But we didn't have instrumentals. You feel what I'm saying? So we'll play the end of the song mm. like back then off the cassette tape, bop, and we'll record on one side. But it's all on the same thing. We we'll press the um, play at the end of the beat. I mean, of the rapping. So now the beat just going on for you feel me like probably like a minute or something or whatever however long and we just record and then we just rap into the speaker you feel me but it wasn't like no mix and master it and just however you say it and however it come take. out and it's, it's gonna sound just like that but my cousin got me in the studio you feel me when i was probably like i'm gonna say like 15 16 i did this song called killer zone that was my first song we ever recorded remember that shit bro that killer zone shit. I mean, and you that were, killer zone. You were Lavish D at the time? Yeah. I was Lavish D, you feel me? Killer zone. Okay. And I just think about that, you feel me? I'm 15, 16 talking about this shit. I'm in the killer zone. You dig what I'm saying? Like in the projects. I did it in my hood, you feel me? At this nigga named Lil Pig Pen House. You feel me? Lil Pig Pen was rapping too. He was like, you feel me? A good nigga though. At his house? Yeah. But he was popping there back then too. He had they had that little label called Funk Central and shit, you feel me? Funk Central? Funk Central. That sounds like a wild label. Funk Central, <laughs> nigga on oh God. They was doing their shit. They was rapping with Gangsta Dre, Lil Pig Pen, all them niggas and shit. They was doing their thing, you feel me? T Nutty and all them niggas. Okay, wow. So did you did you like the, the first rap you ever created? On, on in the real studio? 
Hell yeah, and nigga, I knew what I was doing. I was rapping for so long already, I was ready. Damn. Like, I swear to God, once he paid for that studio session, I just started paying from there on out. So I was making my own CDs, just passing them out. But they were just like burnt CDs, and I just write the name on them. It wasn't like no album covers or nothing like that. I just press up like a hundred on a hundred of them and just pass them out through the hood and shit like that. Mm. Pass them out like that at school and shit. You feel me? Like nigga was going crazy. That's how I really got the streets because they already knew who I was in the streets, <laughs> having jewelry on, driving cars, all the bad young bitches. You feel me? I'm young, and I'm tight as fucking rapping. You feel me? And I'm at every party rapping, fighting at <laughs> every school break, ditching school, rapping, fighting. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I build my name like that. You feel me? So it's what it is. Wow. So how long did you start seeing like buzz in the city type of thing? Like how long were you really rapping for? Where it's just like, all right, this is getting, getting t- kind of real. Well, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like on God, like no lie, you feel me? Like I've been seeing the buzz like since I was a young nigga, bro. Like I've been like everybody being rooting for me though. Like everybody being rooting for me. It's just I didn't take it serious. You feel me? I wasn't taking it serious because I was doing other shit. So it's like okay, I'm getting money doing this. So it's like. A, just think of somebody that you know that's tight as fuck and you'd be like, damn, why they don't drop music or why they ain't doing this and but they still look like they doing their thing but they not doing they really their thing, you feel me? Because they feel like the music probably ain't paying but I know I'm great at this shit so I'm rapping, I'm putting my time and I'm taking it serious but I'm not putting out no CDs and releasing no shit like that but I had different CDs and different songs and all this shit but I'm just passing them out mm. so that's how I was like building my shit but niggas are always trying to be like, let's go to the studio let's do this let's do that like i was always popping though as a young nigga for were, sure. were people like posting videos on youtube at that time yet no Damn. if they was i didn't know about it Damn. You know saying? that's when videos like oh god i remember i went to a mac dre video it was mac dre and the nigga name uh it was mac dre and the nigga big rich i remember i went to their video shoot uh on the visit daryl it was in uh, San Francisco, you feel me? But nigga, they had a big ass camera crew out there, you feel me? Like, look like videos, probably like 100,000. I don't know how much that shit was, but it was like, I still to this day ain't had a video shoot like that. <laughs> oh God, nigga, like, I swear to God, this was Mac Dre video. I mean, not Mac Dre, but Messy Marv. My mm-hmm. bad, I said Mac Dre. Messy Marv and Big Rich, you feel what I'm saying? So they had a big shit, big shit going on, you feel what I'm saying? So, mess put up in the S500 Burgundy, I'll never forget. Damn. I was a fan of mess back then, but started getting on some crazy shit. But you know, it is what it is. Damn, damn, that's fucking wild. So when did you? I mean, when did you start making money off this shit, off off rap? Man, I always made money off rap, cause I mean, it depends on like what type of money. Cause I could say like, okay. I'm a rap or these niggas want to do a song with me and I'd be like, all right, just give me some money type shit. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm not just tripping off all oh, nigga, send me this before how I am right now. You dig what I'm saying? Like how I am right now, nigga, you got to cash me out, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like unless I really know you, fuck with you, you popping, I'm popping, we can come together like that. If I don't know you, hit me up, I don't go fuck. What you doing? Who you done did it with? Nigga, if you ain't matching my numbers or you ain't big as me and I ain't heard you because I don't hear about niggas. Like, oh, God, like, YouTube got these niggas popping. I mean, Instagram got these niggas popping. I don't hear about these niggas. I don't hear these niggas' music. These niggas be Instagram famous. Like, I'm famous in the streets, you feel me? So it's like, back then, I was popping too. So if a nigga want to do a song with me and take me to the studio, all right, give me an ounce of weed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, so yeah, I yeah. always was getting my issue off my music. You dig <laughs> what I'm saying? But... I didn't really start seeing money off that shit, like, really, like, off of, like, uh, CD Baby and all that shit. That's all I knew about, like, CD Baby. I didn't really know how to put no CDs out, but I just knew, okay, upload this shit to CD Baby, upload this shit to I mean, how, yeah, how did you learn the game, though? Because you're kind of, you cross generations where the technology changed, the, the whole rap game changed. But that was good, you dig what I'm saying? Because... I was in the streets with it, you feel me? I had a name in the streets, I was somebody, so it ain't like the internet made me. The internet made a lot of these niggas that's rapping, you feel me? So if the internet crashed today, these niggas ain't got a hood to go to. Mm. I got a hood to go to, you feel me? Straight up, you feel me? Like, I got a hood to go to. So, I was with a label called Goodfella Records, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was my nigga Melly Mel, you feel me? Nigga KG to Melly Mel that won like $1.3 million at uh, Thunder Valley, you dig what I'm saying? What? Yeah, he was from Meadowview, you feel me? That's my nigga. He's still my folks to this day. So, make a long story short, when I got out of jail, I was in jail, you feel me, in the county. When I got out of jail, you feel me, 
And somebody took me to them nigga, and I just rapped one time, and they like, oh nigga, we fucking with you, nigga. Threw me a chain right then and there, like nigga, 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 right there. You feel me? Like on the spot, threw me a chain. You know what I'm saying? It was like, nigga, what you want? I'm like, man, I just put me in the game, nigga. I ain't tripping, nigga. I'm already good. So it was just like that, boom. But them niggas were still learning the game. They were just street niggas with millions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, on God, like, straight, because they already had money. Then they won a million. You feel me? And I was like, nigga, that's on top of this street shit. So it was just like, they really didn't even know what to do. But they was doing what they could. You feel what I'm saying? Then, you know, niggas started getting locked up, and you feel me? I'm learning shit from them, but then I'm learning shit. It's a lot of niggas, you feel me, around, you feel me, that's smart too, that's not with them. You feel me? Like, I was always a leader. So it's niggas that want to see me win and teach me how to do shit, and motherfuckers want to, hey, man, you need to do this. You need to get up on uh, CD, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's digital, and boop, boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to, you don't have to be pressing up the CDs like that. It's digital now, da, 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 and all this shit. Wow. So I was transitioning, just doing shit like that. So I started off really on CD, baby. Damn. Oh God! Like, and then you started seeing some money, uh, some money coming in from that shit. It was just like nah, I, I was seeing money coming in on that shit, but it wasn't like it wasn't just like no hell of money. Like you feel me, like hell of money, but it was cool. You yeah. feel me? For sure, for sure, it was cool because yeah. I was I was popping back then. And while all this is going on, you're having run-ins with law enforcement and in yeah. and out of shit like that. Yes, sir. Damn. So were were they like giving you shit for the music? Mm, back then. It was just really like around that time. It wasn't really like we wasn't really like it wasn't like right now. You dig what I'm saying? Like you know now it's like you know it's a lot of shit going on. You feel me? So a lot of shit has transpired since then. So they law enforcement was fucking with a nigga for other shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like super gang. I was super gang banging. Like I was super like nigga couldn't tell me nothing. Nigga, I get out of jail today. Nigga, with my gun at. Nigga, mm. I'm tripping, nigga. Like, nigga, I swear to God. <laughs> hey, well, I, love. I swear to God, you feel me? Like, I was on some stupid shit, you feel what I'm saying? But that was my fault. You did. I was a young me. But then, when I, as I was getting older, and just seeing, like, you feel me? Like, I got shit to lose, and motherfuckers really got love for me, and I'm meeting bitches I love and like, and niggas, niggas start dying and shit like that. And it's like, okay, niggas start getting shot. Niggas start getting life. Oh, yeah, you feel me? Like, damn. But now I'm already dug myself a deep hole. It's like, oh, I didn't know this shit. I knew this shit came with it. But now I'm seeing my circle go through it. It's like, oh, I done dug myself a hole. So now how can I, like, I can't, like, I can't, I can't back out. But how can I get up out this hole Cause, and just make the best of it? So it was already like I was I was already diving down here first. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to go down a little bit farther here first because now it's like, yeah, nigga, we got you. I didn't know, like, once you get locked up and be on parole, they could take you to jail for, you know what I'm saying, having this red shit going across your shirt right here, and it's just a black sweater. You dig what I'm saying? And once I started getting used to that shit, 12 months for having some shit on like that, and nine months for being around my brothers and shit like that these my mama kids yeah, they add sh- extra shit for all that right yeah so i'm just like damn you feel what i'm saying like this shit getting serious you dig what i'm saying so i was getting out going back getting out going back getting out going back and i just like hell no so now that made me start like like kind of like taking shit a little bit serious too you feel what i'm saying like mm-hmm. boom but i really didn't start taking this shit serious until um I went to jail the last time, went to prison, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I was taking it serious because I had no other choice. But when I, I was just making a lot of diss songs, though. But when I went to prison this time, for the shit I went to, and I was like, damn, you feel me? Anybody else wouldn't even went to jail for that shit? I already, that's what I seen. Like, oh, yeah, they, they serious. They want me. Mm. They want me, bro. I got to, all right, y'all don't see it, nigga. I see it. You dig what I'm saying? So, Do you feel like jail rehabilit- rehabilitates people or creates more issues man listen man i don't want to say the same thing and the nigga be talking about man that nigga talking about me in jail help you man and listen man with me it all depends on what type of person you is bro you feel what i'm saying if you're a motherfucker that want to do right you're gonna get tired of going to jail bro if you're a motherfucker that that don't give a fuck about doing right and just think you're untouchable yeah they got somewhere for you though mm. you dig what i'm saying so that could you could take that however however the shoe fit you know what i'm saying where the motherfucker you feel me you you ain't never been in jail and you think it's a game, 
oh yeah, jail going jail gonna get you right mm. after so many times. It might not get you right the first time, it might not get you right the second time. Cause you know, niggas don't just start going to the county, niggas start going to juvenile hall first, you dig yeah. what I'm saying? And shit like that. So at a young guy, you're like, I don't care, I'm in here with all my homies. I'm in here with my brother, I'm in here with my uncle, you dig what I'm saying? Shit like that. Motherfucker might even be there with his daddy, you know what I'm saying? So when the niggas start getting older and start going through shit, the niggas start start you start getting money and really like having houses and having cars and having expensive shit and then every time you go to jail you lose everything and it's like ooh no nah, okay I'm still young I can still do it and do it but as you start getting older you like nigga I ain't got time to keep on losing my shit nigga mm -hmm. then you know what I'm saying you got homies trying to do this homies doing scandalous shit niggas ain't solid niggas don't be loyal bitches don't be loyal so you like nigga I'm taking all these chances nigga trying to, I'm taking all these chances being real and making all these sacrifices but damn, you feel what I'm saying? I'm making sacrifices for these niggas to fuck my bitch. Nigga, I'm going to sit down in jail for a nigga to fuck my wife. Even though i am never been married, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying, just thinking logic on some real nigga shit. I tell my nigga, you know what I'm saying, the, you know what I'm saying, the, I need some money, you feel what I'm saying, to go, you feel me, drop some money off to my bitch. Nigga, I, nigga, you over there living over there now. Nigga, you tell me, you know what I'm saying, you need somewhere to go. You feel me, you my bro. Nigga, I say you can go sleep in my baby mama house, nigga. Now you over there, nigga. My kids running around, nigga. You naked on the couch, nigga. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Just this ain't shit that happened to me, but this is shit that happens in real life because yeah. I done seen niggas go through this type of situation. So when you start going through shit like that, you like, hold on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nah, nigga, I got some shit to live for. So now it's like every man for himself. You feel me? It's niggas that's going to love you and niggas that stay solid, but it's niggas that's going to be... You feel me? Not solid. And niggas that want what you want. You damn know saying niggas sizing your bitch up, niggas staring at your bitch, just sucking shit. You dig know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sucking shit that like I don't give a fuck about a nigga bitch. You feel know what I'm saying? If I fuck with you, I don't care about your bitch. You dig know what I'm saying? Let your bitch be your bitch. You feel me? If a bitch say I try anything or some weird shit, then that bitch probably was a hoe. You know what I'm saying? You knew she was a hoe before you start fucking with the bitch on some shit like that. We all know she a hoe. She probably get some money or something like that. Hey, you got some money, you don't fuck with the bitch. I want some too. Before I just stand saying it's your wife, your kids, mama, all that all weird ass shit, you feel me? I don't fuck with it like that, you dig what I'm saying? Now motherfuckers will lie on a nigga, you feel me, to turn motherfuckers again, but if you know me, then you know me. That ain't how I fuck with it. Mm. I always be against that shit, and I don't respect that shit, and I don't like that shit, you feel me? So that shit to make you tighten up, you know what I'm saying? When you yeah. see niggas out to get what you want, you dig what I'm saying? Your bitch in the room, everybody stare and look at her, you know what I'm saying? It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Your bitch walk up in the room, nigga, I don't even look at her, you dig what I'm saying? I don't even like to greet her or talk to her, because that's just how I get down. But everybody ain't raised like me, nigga, you feel what I'm saying? Some niggas want to talk to your bitch, and you know what I'm saying? The more she talk, the more a nigga feel like he gets slick. That's why I tell my bitch, don't talk to nobody. Mm. Bitch, you talk to anybody, bitch, all that friendly shit's out. Mm. Straight the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? That's how we was raised, but everybody wasn't raised like that, you dig? But that type of shit to make you understand and just like, hold on, you feel me? When you start seeing shit and start understanding shit and the older you get, you feel me? Just look at everybody trying to get over on you. Everybody trying to be slick. So you nip that shit in the bud like, bitch, don't do this. Bitch, don't do that. You dig what I'm saying? If he don't know how to do it, that's his motherfucking business, bitch. But you do that because I can't get mad at him, bitch. I can get mad at you because you my bitch. Mm. A dog going to be a dog, bitch. And he a dog, you know what I'm saying? You a cat, bitch. You feel what I'm saying? So, bitch, you go over there. You go over there, stand in the motherfucking corner, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Had your motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. Represent me. I feel it. Damn. So, like, how, how do you maintain, like, how do you maintain your mental health when you're, like, incarcerated like that? Man, I didn't even know what mental health was at first, man. I still don't probably know what it is, but shit. I guess it's a feeling. I don't know. You dig what I'm saying? It's all about how you do the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I done been in jail so many times, like, a young nigga. Like, like I got immune to that shit, bro. Mm. The hardest time was getting sentenced. Mm. That was the hardest time. After that, man, you know what I'm saying? You already know what you're about to go through. Oh, nigga, I got ops. I know I'm finna have to go line it up with these niggas. I know I might hit the pen. It might be me and about 40 niggas. Ops. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got no help. Some used to the shit. He signed up for this shit. You dig what I'm saying? Shit. Whatever happened, just let me make it out alive. All right, let me ask this. How do you how do you end up on a, a TV show segment for being locked up? Oh, man, because I'm the reason they even I'm – even, I'm the reason lock up even came to Sacramento County Jail, bro. So, so like, do producers hit you up? Do you get paid for that? Like, yeah, how, how the fuck yeah, does that work? I paid off that, man. They had to pay me, man. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm probably still getting paid, but they had to pay me, you feel me, from the gate. You dig what I'm saying? But how I played them – 
I played them. You feel me? I ain't gonna say I played them, but I knew they wanted to come talk to me. You dig mm. what I'm saying? I knew they wanted to come talk to me and all this and all that. And they wanted to come out there because my lawyer had told me, like, yeah, they feel me. They contacted him and it was like, hey, man, whoop, 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 can you do this, do that, da da da. Then they had a legal visit. You feel me? Come talk to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. What, 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 telling me about the lockup and, you know, you like your biggest gang member out here and all that. I didn't really want to be known for being no biggest gang member, you feel me? Or like the most hated and all that shit. I don't think I want to be known for having some money, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want to be known for some boss shit. I want to be known for taking care of my niggas and taking care of my family. I don't want to be known for killing nobody. Nobody killing me, killing my homies, me killing the homies. I don't want to be known for that, you feel me? But it is what it is. So. They come and they went like, okay, boop, we're going to do it like this. So they go interview everybody. Like, and they, I told them I was going to do it. So they come out there. I think they came from, like, New York or, like, like they were just traveling, like, Rocker Island, just going everywhere. So when they get to me, uh -huh. like, I'm in the hole. You feel what I'm saying? So they go, they go interview all my main ops, the main ops, like, my main ops. Like, niggas, this, this door open, they, we going, we attacking. We fighting until somebody die. Like, like, real nigga shit, though, like. And they knew it, the jail knew it, all the shit, you feel me? That's why I was in the hole. So they interview like my co-defendants on the case with me, because I was fighting the case. They interview all the ops, and I was, they wanted to interview me last. So by the time they come, they, they are done, or they finna get done, they come talk to me like, yeah, we gonna be coming up on me. I'm like, yeah, all right. You know y'all gonna have to, you feel me, come up with some, you feel me? I don't wanna do it. Mm. Like, you don't want to do it, and we, we just did all this leading up to you. Yeah, I know. But, nigga, I'm in here, nigga. You see my face, nigga? I ain't shaved in a year. <laughs> nigga, I'm around this motherfucker. Fuck that. Like, you go look at that video, nigga, out of my shit, and I was rough, nigga. You feel me? I was in there thugging. I, I, I would think the last thing you want in jail is a fucking camera in your face asking you about all this shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, but, but I knew how to I know how to talk. I know how to answer things. You dig know what I'm saying? If I'm going to talk about some shit... I'm not tripping, you feel me? I'm not telling on nobody, you feel me? Man, I'm not even telling on myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey, it is what it is. However, y'all gonna, they gonna twist whatever a nigga say anyway, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga just gotta know how to talk and just, it is what it is, you feel me? They gonna twist whatever they wanna twist. That's why I don't like to talk on the phone about nothing. That's why I don't like to text about nothing because I done text about shit and said shit and they tried to, Make it like I said something else. Like, nigga, that don't even mean that. Mm. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you making up shit now. You feel what I'm saying? So so you're in the hole and you know that they're filming with other people? Yeah, I So know. you're just like, all right, did you plot on this shit? Like, all yeah. right, I'm going to kind of build the leverage up because they have this time invested. They don't want to waste this shit I'm by the time they get plotting, to me. Man. Okay, so how, how did you how did you negotiate with them? I'm always plotting, folks. I already had a plan once I told them to just film everybody else. Cause I'm the oh, big you dog. told them to I, film yeah, everyone else. Yeah, y'all go film everybody else. I'm the big dog, man. You mm. know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not talking after nobody. I mean, I'm not talking before nobody. I'm the big dog. Y'all came up here for me. Y'all film everybody else. Y'all want to. Y'all come talk to me and get my story. Okay, that's okay. So they did all what they did. You dig what I'm saying? So when it's kind of come talk to me, all over it. Huh? Man, look, check this out, man. I ain't had canteen in a month, man. Damn. What did y'all talk about, man? <laughs> y'all talk about, man, I don't want to talk, man. Like, I ain't had canteen in a month, bro. Y'all want to come ask me about these police-ass questions? Let's check this out, man. That's how we going to do this. And if y'all want to do this, then, you feel me? Hey, and, and we talking through the, um, we talking through the, um, the slot in my cell. I ain't even coming out. Ain't nothing to talk about, bro. You feel me? I'm in here reading, nigga. I'm writing this book, man. You feel what I'm saying? Let's check this out. Y'all don't want to help me. I'm finna release this book, man. Y'all interrupting me, man. But you said, yeah, I know what I said. I said, interview them. And holler at me when it's right. Y'all coming to holler at me, but is it right? And then we just went from there. You dig it? I said, wow. all right. You feel me? It's good. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I know. Ahead. Throw that out my books, man. I don't even worry about nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they paid the price. Man, they probably didn't just pay everything I wanted, but I wasn't really just But you got something out of it. Yeah, for sure. Because sure. I just think that dynamic of like being incarcerated and having this opportunity to have this content made about your life, like, you should be compensated, I think. Like, you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm gonna I'm tell you a secret, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you a secret, man. Listen, man, I'm so cold, bro. You feel me? I made them meet up with one of my family members on the streets. I made one of their people meet up with my family member on the streets, bro, and give my family members some money. And wow. that money went towards my lawyer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I already had the lawyer paid. You feel me? But that still went towards my lawyer because I still owe some money. But instead of just taking my bitch money and my brother money and shit like that, nigga, that's what happened. You feel me? And then they threw something at my books. You feel me? So I wasn't tripping. 
Nigga, y'all know what y'all gotta do, nigga, straight up. You feel me? That's what it is. And, like, everyone in in the place knows that they're filming and all this shit's going down. Like, people are talking about it, I'm sure. Yeah. Damn. Then they had little bitches on their little crew. The bitches was on. I swear, to, I swear to God, on my life, I used to be talking to. Man, I ain't gonna do all <laughs> that, man. I'm a player, bro. Well, look, like, that. I want to talk about that. You know, Lavish D gives a lot of love advice on on social media and stuff on how to properly maneuver. Man, I'm in this you, thing man, we called life. I'm a player, man. You dig what I'm saying? So, will you ever get married? Huh? Will you ever get married? I am married. Hmm. To yeah. what, the game? Or to actually someone? <laughs> <laughs> to the motherfucking game, man. Backed up, man. Mm. I'll probably get married, you know what I'm saying? I'm about 60 or something. 65, 70. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, though. You feel me? You know, I ain't gonna lie, though. You feel me? Because, you know, bitch might hear this and be like, I ain't fucking with that nigga. I want the white picket fence. He talking about 60 years old. I'm only 20. So, at the end of the day, it's like this, bro. Different women, different women bring out different qualities in a man. You dig what I'm saying? Different women bring out different qualities. So, with that being said, man, you know what I'm saying? Shit, only God knows. Mm. Well, shit, man. The wedding, sound, the wedding probably is gonna be lit. You perform at your wedding? <laughs> yeah, no, man. I'm gonna have this nigga performing at there. I mean, okay. So, what are you listening to? Like, what's the daily? You know, lavish D playlist. I listen to my shit, bro. Like no lie, bro. Like, but just street rap, like you're not listening to like R and B, no like oldies kind of switching up the love. vibes. I fuck with that. I fuck with Keith Sweat greatest hits. I'm not that type of nigga, bro. Like, like I'm always working, bro. Like, like no cap, bro. Like I swear to God, like I listen to niggas like here and there when I get tired of listening to my shit. But like I'm always right. I'm always working, bro. Like, like. Like always, every time I go in the studio, I do like three songs. You feel what I'm saying? So if I'm in the studio three times out the week and I do three time three songs, that's three six nine. You feel me? Down to twelve songs. You feel what I'm saying? So like, if I'm doing this every week and then niggas around me and niggas on my label, you feel me? Doing the same thing and they send this shit and I'm knocking out shit for other artists and I'm working on my solo shit, working on me and his tape. Just dropped another tape. I ain't got time to listen to nobody else. I only got time to listen to beats. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I always, I say it's like, you know, a lot of niggas listen to, a lot of niggas listen to other artists to, you know what I'm saying, have something to talk about. Nigga, I'm excited, nigga, with the shit I do in real life. Nigga, I can talk mm -hmm. about it. Nigga, I got bitches. You know what I'm saying? I got everything a rapper want to talk about. Nigga, I got cars. Nigga, I got houses. Nigga, I got jewelry. Nigga, I got designer clothes. Nigga, I got pool in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I can rap about anything I want. You feel me? Like, I can rap about anything. So, as long as I know how to go see something, I am Puerto Rico, you feel me? I'm here, them, there. I can talk about it. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's it's easy to talk about it, bro. And I've been doing it for so long, I don't think too hard. Are you ever going to stop or retire from this rap game? I mean, on some real nigga shit, you feel me? I think that's probably why I'm working so hard right now, you dig what I'm saying? Because, like, like I, I'm like, I don't know, you feel me? Like, I always want to, I always get tired of this shit. Like, mm -hmm. I always get tired of this shit, but I know deep inside, like, I know I'm not satisfied to where I'm at right now. I know where I'm supposed to be at, like, and I know it's because niggas is, like, putting fences up and mm -hmm. blockers up, you dig what I'm saying? So I got to break through them. Like, I just, see, I don't look at, like, like where I started at, you dig what I'm saying? No, no, I, I don't look at like how can I say it? Like, I look at like, like I, it's kind of hard what I'm trying to say. Like, basically, like I look at basically where I started and where I'm at now, and like when I got out of jail, you dig what I'm saying? Like, cause I already had shit. You feel me? I've been having shit. Go look at my video project, nigga. You feel me? All them cars was mine. The Benz, the Range Rover. 745, you know what I'm saying? Like, like all that shit, like, oh, God. Like, that was in 2008, 2009 when I got out of jail. Like, like all that shit was mine back then. So, like, when I started taking shit serious, it's like, really, oh, my bad. In 2000, I had a plan, you feel me? So, when I got locked up for the mall shit, and two, when I went down, so when I'm finna get out, like, in 2016, you dig what I'm saying? I had a plan. I'm like, I'm gonna start dropping shit like the end of 2016, cause I get out 2017 in August. I'm gonna start dropping shit 
right then and there to start building my momentum and building my buzz at. But now I got a different plan. You dig what I'm saying? So I just started making just real music. Like I wasn't tripping. I dropped a couple of diss songs just to get their attention. But then I'm dropping good music, regular music, regular music. When I got out of jail, when I got out of jail in 2017 in uh, August, that's when I started really like already had a plan to just keep releasing. Mm. Like I don't give a fuck, you feel me? Like everything that I wasn't doing before I got locked up and I thought about I should have been doing when I was locked up, that's what I'm gonna do when I get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm, nigga, I'm up right now, you feel me? I done made a whole bunch of money off music and other shit and whatever. I'm gonna invest this shit towards this music and all this and all that. My stomach growling, I'm hungry. <laughs> but I just started dropping, bro. Like I, I, Nobody can tell me, like, bro, hold this, hold that. No, nigga, I'm dropping, bro. I was dropping like five videos, five, six videos a month, nigga. I swear to God, nigga, every month, bro. Every with month, Bub. nigga, like, like, oh god, I think I, I, yeah, I was doing shit, a lot of shit with Bub. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of shit with Bub, but then, you know, we went our separate ways. I'm like, you know, what I'm saying, I'm like, I, like, I just remember I'm, watching those when when you first came you know, out. For sure, for sure, that was my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? That nigga, you feel me? He did a lot of my hit. Uh, he did the what else? He did the Sammy the Bull. He yeah, did. You guys got lot. some numbers. You guys got some no, numbers no, no, together. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. You so, know, I, I mean, I'm just curious because, you know, the most successful people. They kind of have that mentality where it's like, I'm never where I want to be. So I'm just curious on like, if you ev- if there is a end of the finish line, you know what I'm saying? Like, as an artist or as a as a you know musician, like, do you keep going or do you try to make money like somewhere else, like cop real estate and just retire from the nah, game and shit like nah, that? That's cool. That's cool. You dig what I'm saying? But right now it's like this shit personal with me, bro. Mm. Like it's shit personal. Like you feel me? Like, because I know for sure these barriers finna break in a minute, you know what I'm saying? Because the truth coming out, like, these the real niggas over there, like, you feel me? Yeah, okay, these niggas is friendly over here, so everybody might like them. You dig what I'm saying? That's cool, you feel me? Everybody like you. But we them niggas that everybody gonna have to respect. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they can like you all you want. They can like you and still, you know what I'm saying, take from you, and they can like you and still hurt you, but... They ain't got to like us, but when they see us, they go, hey, yeah, that's what it's going to be every single time. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, because we stand on solid shit and we real niggas, like, we ain't, like, we ain't, like, motherfuckers be lying on me. You dig what I'm saying? Like, that's what, like, really, like, that, like, they got to lie on me to, like, try to win and try to beat me. So that right there make me, like, it's personal. Now I got to, like, fuck you up, like, on some um, not fuck you up physically, but just like fuck you up because you're lying on me. So now I gotta make you eat your motherfucking words. You With success. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? So, like, like I say, like, you know, a lot of rappers, you feel me? Like, you know, who I ain't good with, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers know it's just Sacramento politics. But a lot of these niggas, you dig what I'm saying? Like, niggas embrace these niggas, you feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas embrace these niggas in hopes on keeping us out. I'm gonna just say keeping me out, you dig what I'm saying? Because they thought it was just me, I guess. But they don't know it's a whole army, you know what I'm saying? And we all can rap, and we all fly, and we all got jury, and we all popping, and we all and we all really them niggas from where we from. It's a lot of faking going on over here, you dig what I'm saying? So a lot of these rappers, you dig what I'm saying, niggas meet these niggas and tell these niggas, don't fuck with all you fuck with him, man, we ain't gonna fuck with you. Or if you interview him, man, you ain't gotta worry about us coming up here. Or if you share that music, man, you know what I'm saying, you ain't gotta ever worry about sharing ours. And, and it's like, you know what I'm saying, we just getting started, so at the end of the day, I'm not a hoe-ass nigga and be like, oh, man, it ain't fair, man. It is what it is, my nigga, you dig what I'm saying? Because I done seen this shit happen before, but I don't, I don't be discouraged, you feel what I'm saying, because I know for sure what I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, I made sugar out of shit, my nigga. Mm-hmm. What I did, man, these niggas wouldn't have been able to do that. You feel me? With all the with all the weight on my shoulders and all the pressure on me and in and out of prison and, you know what I'm saying, I'm facing 20 years and I see these niggas just getting popping and, and I don't know when I'm finna come home and I'm like, damn, I done fucked up. Nigga, I had the ball, nigga. I was in first place. Mm. But then, you feel me? I fumbled the ball, you did, and that shit, and that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? When you fumble the ball, so now you got to get the ball back, or you got to play catch up, and you got to, you feel me? You can't, you can't move out of anger, trying to be like, oh, nigga, I'm finna win the game. Nah, nigga, nigga, just move smart, nigga. Throw bombs, nigga. Touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate, campaign, and show them, nigga, that you coming. You mm. ain't tripping. It just fucked me up. Because a lot of rappers, I, re- I really want to work with a lot of rappers, you dig what I'm saying? But I got pride, too, you dig what I'm saying? I got, like, like like I'm not a hoe. 
I'm not a bitch. I'm not a dick rider. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? Like, I wish I could be friendly. But just because I'm not friendly don't mean I got an issue with you. Like, I know a lot of niggas do music with them niggas. But I don't look at their videos. Like, I don't watch none of their videos. Nigga, oh, God. Niggas, like, oh, you supposed to study them. Check this out, nigga. Niggas better study me. You know what I'm saying? Because when you built like me and you think like me, I ain't got to watch you niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about you niggas. You niggas more worried about me. Because y'all know y'all lying on me to make people not like me. I'm not even speaking on y'all, nigga. So when people, when the people meet me that met y'all already, they always tell me y'all the real niggas. It never fails. Every nigga, every podcast, every rapper that done met me and my niggas and dealt with us after they met them, man, they man, y'all the real niggas. They can tell. You can tell. Mm. We ain't scared, man. So we ain't gotta move a thousand deep, nigga. We up here three, four deep right now. Mm. Y'all say these niggas gotta these niggas gotta go everywhere a thousand deep, bro. I move around Houston nigga every day by myself. So what's Texas like? It's cool. Yeah? Yeah say. I mean shit. I'm I've never been out there, man, but fuck all that right now, nigga. We talk about this <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga all the set. Nah, 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 it's cool though, you feel me? I fuck with you though. You, you know, know I'm just saying? like I I, nah. I feel you, man, but you know. Nah, but I I'm wanna just... break some shit down though. Nah, I wanna break some shit down though. You know what I'm saying? Cause this the only time they hear me speak. Hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So when it's the only time they hear me speak, I gotta speak just what you wanted. I didn't do what you wanna do, the podcast. So this is what we doing. We gonna talk about it. So when these rappers hear this shit, they can know like, damn, you feel me? Why 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 ain't we, you know what I'm saying, like fucking with this nigga though? Like, like we acting like this nigga that did something to us. We acting like this nigga and shot it, man. Them niggas from Sacramento, man. We not from Sacramento, man. We from New York, man. We from Florida, man. We from Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? We from San Diego, man. We from L.A., man. Why the fuck is we not fucking with this nigga? He a blood and he a blood or whatever the fuck. They got their little issues, but them niggas both down moves or whatever the fuck. Nigga, they ain't got nothing to do with us, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, I want to do music with you. Nigga, you got millions of views. Nigga, you got over 200 million views on your YouTube channel with no help. That's That's us. We ain't got the big features. We ain't tripping. We ain't worried about. We could have bought the shit, but I want y'all to fuck with us like y'all fuck with them. You dig what I'm saying? So, I mean, I I give us some dollars, but I ain't giving up too much, my nigga. You mm. dig what I'm saying? Don't try to. Oh man, I really don't want to do it. So, I'm uh, I really don't. I really don't want to do it. So I'ma just tax them. If you pay, then I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? But I really don't want to do it. So, I'm really. I'm only. I'm only worth. Five thousand, but I'ma say, man, give me eighty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I can name some niggas who did that shit, but I ain't gonna put it out there. Niggas be like, I be asking nigga, like, I seen a nigga one time, nigga on, on my dick, terrified as fuck. You feel me? And it's just me, nigga. I'm like, bro, what's up, man? What's what? I mean, I'm like, show me your line. Like, man, I been wanting to fuck with you, man. I been seeing you, da 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 da. Man, I swear to God, I text the nigga like, what's up, bro? You feel? I'm trying to send you some shit. He was like, you know, man, what you whoop whoop and it's good, man. You know. But you know, you know what I'm saying? I know you're trying to get on, bro. Just shoot me something, man. I'm like, all right, what you what you talking? This nigga gonna tell me seventy five thousand or something like, like, and it, and it's crazy. Like this is nigga, like nigga, no lie, bro. I swear to God, bro. This is a nigga that's not like even like a nigga known for sure. But this is a nigga like you ain't heard like in hella long. Like mm -hmm. for surely, if you name twenty rappers from the Bay right now, you are not gonna bring him up. So it's just like I feel disrespected. And I told him like nigga, you a bitch though. And when I see him and slap the shit out you, and I probably shouldn't have said that. You know what I'm saying? I probably shouldn't have said that. Mm. But I felt disrespected, my nigga. I just seen you in your face, nigga, and hollered at you, nigga. You was, nigga. I'm asking you, like, what's up with them niggas? Like, I see you on them niggas' pages, and I see y'all really butt buddy. Like, what is it, though? You feel me? Because y'all a little too close, my nigga. Like, like, is it cool? Or, you know, I ain't tripping. But it's you in these politics. If you ain't these politics, I don't care who you hang with. I don't care who you do your music with. But when you act like it's an issue with me and my niggas, you know what I'm saying, nigga? That's my little brother over there, nigga. You dig what I'm saying? So if you don't like me, nigga, you don't like him, nigga. I got to protect this nigga. You feel me? My life, nigga. I've been, nigga, protecting this nigga since we was babies, nigga. And he don't need my protection. But at the end of the day, I look at shit like that. So if I let you live to walk away, nigga, you might see my brother, nigga, try to do something to my brother. So I take this shit kind of like a little different when niggas try to involve themselves in politics, bro. Because it ain't really that serious. Let me and these niggas duke it out. But you want to fight? You want to, nigga, it's, it, it is what it is. A lot of rappers got their rap beef, my nigga. They did the same thing to Gucci Mane, bro. Nigga, I really fuck with Gucci. I really got love for that nigga. They do the same thing to Gucci Mane, bro. On God, my nigga. As soon as that nigga went popping, no disrespect to Jeezy, but look, look what happened. The real always outweighs 
I ain't gonna say he fake, but mm. whatever the fuck it is, the real always wins in the end. You dig it up saying? 50 Cent and Ja Rule. I always say this shit and I always use these examples. Look at 50, rich as fuck. Nigga buying out, hard, buying out Ja Rule whole show, ain't nobody coming. Nigga on stage rapping by itself, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that's how I feel like this shit is right here. Like, Cause I ain't tripping, nigga. Mm. I know for sure my heart. I know what I done sacrificed, I know what I done been through, and I know what I gotta go through by niggas playing politics and niggas pulling strings. Mm. At the end of the day, we just gotta stay working, nigga. Cause the real niggas gonna see it and be like, you know what, nigga, I fuck with these niggas. Cause the real niggas fuck with me around the world. When I see real niggas, they salute me. Ain't nobody did nothing to me. Ain't nobody took no chain off me. Ain't nobody attempted to take nothing. But you on the internet, you will be like, oh my God, how does he walk around? Mm. How does he, all these people wanna kill him? Man, these niggas don't wanna do nothing to me, my nigga. Nigga, I'm in Houston every day, nigga. Nigga at the same clubs, nigga on God, nigga on my mama, nigga. With whatever though, you feel what I'm saying? But that ain't what I'm on. Nigga, I got shit to use. Think I'm nigga wearing this nigga million dollars in change, nigga. To have to fight it, nigga. Nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You think I wanna kill a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nigga, I'm fitted, nigga. I wanna get a bitch or something, you feel me though? But that's what I'm saying though. These niggas, the internet will make it look like it's that when it's not really that. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers will talk up on a good one and that, they just do that shit to put the police in your business to make people scared to do business with you. Oh, I don't book them for no show, man. The show's gonna get shot up. Nigga, ain't no show got shot up, nigga. Hmm. I just did a whole summer tour and a whole winter tour, nigga, in the Bay. Nigga, like, come on, bro. Like, nigga, on God, before I, and I, and I was on an ankle monitor. You dig what I'm saying? I just did a show out here, nigga, on Friday, nigga, in LA, and I just did another show, nigga, on Saturday in San Diego, pack. Ain't nothing happened, nigga. All the gangsters come out and fucking with me, but these niggas lie on us. So I just really gotta have to get that shit out, shit that shit on the table, man. So if a nigga wanna do business with me, nigga tap in with me, my nigga. You feel me? DM me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't always check my DMs, but somebody check them. You feel me? DM me, nigga. Tap in, nigga. Fuck with it. You ain't gotta involve yourself in no politics, but. When you act like you don't fuck with us and you fuck with the other side, niggas, and we see all of that, you dig what I'm saying? Even if I, I'm not really worried about it, but I got little homies that see all that shit. And these niggas send this shit to me and ask me, nigga, what's up with these niggas when they see y'all niggas trying to go to a Kings game, you know what I'm saying, or go to a Warriors game and these niggas see you. And I and I can't say you, you feel me? I'll be like, oh, man, leave them niggas alone, man. It's all good, nah, nigga. You feel me? What the, nigga, then you tap out and try to do a song with the nigga. He acting weird, right? Well, he fuck with these niggas, we finna take a shit. Mm. And I be like, nah, nigga, you feel me? But niggas still gonna do what they do. But at the end of the day, it don't even have to be all that. Cause nigga, this nigga, we all trying to make money. We all trying to feed our family. Nigga, you trying to get popping. Nigga, your podcast. Nigga, you trying to nigga be in your nigga big old motherfucking warehouse. You digging what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So how you feel if you ain't cool with another nigga that's podcast, another nigga that's doing a podcast, but he got followers. So he acting like it's the issue with you. So when artists come up on there and be like, look, I'm gonna interview you, just don't go fuck with whoop, 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 whoop. And now you're like, damn, I wonder why all these niggas ain't fucking with me. But then this nigga's coming back, you feel me? Not the main source, but it's other niggas like, yeah, man, I was up in there, man. He telling niggas don't fuck with you, bro. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a fine line sometimes, you know, especially coming in sack. I came up shooting music videos in sack. So I, I understand the I understand, man, like, but at the end of the day, for me at least, like you know, it's not—it's none of my business. It's, it's not—it's not really my my battle to fight. You feel me? So exactly. That's how I—that's my outlook. I'm about—I'm about the artist, about the music, the come up, inspirational shit. Because I mean, I've noticed that like prepping for this interview was just like it's a lot of—it's uh, a lot of the headline shit. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. It's just like, bro, I'm not even like. It is what it is. Like, but that's bunk shit, bro. That's bunk shit, bro. So yeah. the battery. So you're going—you're going full steam ahead right now. It sounds like you're—you're—you're you're, you're dropping shit. Recording, you ready to go crazy or even crazier? I'm going crazy, I'm finna go crazier. I got a squad that's going crazy. We just, you feel me? Like I say, nigga can't do everything by himself. You know what I'm saying? My manager try to do everything he can. You know what I'm saying? Shout out that man, nigga. Fuck that boy. Shout out to but, your manager. But he try to do everything he can. You know what I'm saying? But the weight be on that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I be feeling like, like, damn, nigga, you feel me? Y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? Play on my boy. You dig it? I said, don't play on my boy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We gonna put that out there right now, nigga. Don't play with this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't in no politics. He ain't in none of that shit, nigga. He got a job to do. He get paid for doing this. He's not running around doing this shit for. Oh, nigga, laugh, my homeboy, nigga. I'm finna go. Nah, nigga. Yes, and I pay him for his motherfucking services. So let this man do what he paid for. Mm. You dig it? I'm saying he ain't from the gang. He ain't in the videos. 
throwing up the gang. I make sure he ain't in no videos. He's doing his thing. You feel what I'm saying? If you know who he is, then you know who he is. But all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? Keep him out of that shit. You dig it, what I'm saying? And it be niggas, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he pitching for a nigga and, hey, man, I manage with you. Oh, you, how does it feel? And, like, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, hold on, nigga. You dig it, I'm saying? Nigga, we, nigga, we off from the streets. Nigga, if that's the case, he not street, nigga. You feel me? But we off from the streets. How your manager feel, nigga? You dig it, I'm saying? Like, so, and it be always outside motherfuckers. Trying to trying to uh, stir up shit, you mm. dig what I'm saying? Like, oh man, I don't know how you do it, and you know, here he is walking, whoop 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 whoop, or you know, he's gonna just go back. Like, check this out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, hold on, nigga. Nigga, I used to always be locked up, nigga, cause I didn't give a fuck though, and I wouldn't let niggas play with me. You dig what I'm saying? And that's why niggas ain't out there playing with me right now. Nigga, if I wouldn't have been doing what I'm doing, a lot of these rap niggas would probably be playing with me, cause I walk around like this every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I walk around like this every day with nigga a hundred thousand on and uh, you know what I'm saying? If you can, if you know then you know. But I walk around like this and I ain't worried about getting tested. I ain't worried about nigga taking nothing off me. My niggas ain't worried about nobody taking off me. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, them niggas got shit on right now, you feel me? I don't know if he should probably hide this shit all the time, but you know what I'm saying? That nigga over there, some nigga got shit on you, nigga. I'm saying like we ain't worried about it though, you feel me? We know how to move, we're not in the way. And and it's fucked up, and I'm gonna put it out there like that. Like, when I come to LA, like, it be fucked up, you feel what I'm saying? Because, like, I fuck with LA. Like, I was in prison with real niggas from LA, like, from every hood. Like, on God, I can, I know niggas from every hood. Mm-hmm. And it be like, when I get out here, I don't even be really, like, tapping in with nobody because it's like, I don't know who trying to politic me or be slick. And, you know what I'm saying? I know how, you know what I'm saying? I hear niggas want jewelry, you know what I'm saying? But that's everywhere. But I know it's a little bit steeper in L.A. You feel what I'm saying? They'd be fucked up because I'd be like, damn, I did three years in the pen with this nigga. I came. I don't even know if I could pull up on you. You dig what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you might get your boys the okay to kill me and take my shit just just because you trying to prove something to somebody else that I'm into it with that you ain't got no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just be like fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because it's a lot of artists in L.A. that I want to fuck with. And it's a lot of artists that I know that'll work with me. But it just be like, I don't know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it'd be fucked up because niggas, it goes back to the politics. People involve themselves in politics and make it look like a certain way on the internet. And it really don't be that because, like, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I push up on niggas. Like, on, on God, like, on my mama, I can't help it. Like, i always been like that. My brother would tell you, like, this nigga always be like, nigga, you talk too much. Sometimes. Like, nigga, on my mama, like, I can't. Like, he knows since a kid, nigga. If I see you, I'm pressing up blood on God. And that was my... Main problem going to jail. Like I didn't give a fuck. Nigga, you say something to me, nigga. You nigga, you nigga, you press up on my bitch, nigga. When I right there, you press up on my nigga. When I right there, nigga, and I see you, nigga. I'm on. I don't care how deep y'all is. I don't care if the police right here, nigga. Like can't nobody say you from this, nigga. Oh God. And but I got mature. You know what I'm saying? So by me being mature, you feel me? Niggas already know. Like if he get in the dough, like I'm already in the dough. Don't get it fucked up. But it's another level. That's the level where. The Meek Mills at you dig mm. what I'm saying the 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 Dirks at and I'm just keeping it one thousand you feel me like the Young Boys and the Drakes like it's another level you feel me it's an it's it's, a, it's I feel like it's one more level because if I can do all these views and my niggas do all these views and we look like this without no help imagine nigga when we got that help nigga like hold on nigga nigga hold on Young Boy man you feel me nigga got three hundred thousand for you nigga come get on this. Nigga, Dirk, nigga, we got 200 for you, nigga. Dreaded need a song with Dirk right now, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, little baby, nigga, we got that. Nigga, we ain't, these niggas ain't spending on. These niggas ain't spending their money, though. They making, they trying to make it look like they spending their money. You niggas got labels and machines behind y'all, and y'all being did that. Nigga, if I was y'all, it wouldn't be no CML, my nigga. Hmm. Nigga, that's just a fact, bro, bro. Ah, man, that, that's a fact, my nigga. We ain't gonna sugarcoat it to put dubs on it. Nigga, I, and I know... That hate that makes niggas hate that, bro. Like all these millions, nigga. We still around this motherfucker, nigga. Moving like ain't no words in the world, nigga. We don't fuck with every bitch. We don't let bitches come to the Airbnbs. We don't. We not, nigga. You ain't giving no drops, nigga. This, nigga. This really only the family, nigga. Like facts. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I just had to put that out there, bro. Cause right. niggas need to know what's going on. And I ain't gonna lie. A lot of these interviews, I only I keep it brief. You dig what I'm saying? But nigga, you from SAC, nigga, you feel what I'm saying? You from SAC, you know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about it, cause even though you white or whatever, Mexican, Asian, you know what I'm saying, whatever you <laughs> have, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, even though, but you, nigga, you done heard, nigga, you done seen, you feel what I'm saying? So you know what's going on, nigga. 
if you're from Sacramento, you know what the real is, bro. Like, everyone knows this. So, it's like, motherfuckers want to see us lose so bad. Like, when I did the motherfucking shit about the jury, and I was like, oh, man. And the little homies went up on there like, nigga, we took all that nigga jury, bro. Everybody reposted me, bro. Motherfuckers DMing me like, yeah, nigga, we got your jury. Like, really telling me that they got my jury. Like, nigga, I can buy it back. Like, nigga, my shit is right here, nigga. You DMing me, lying to me, bro, right now. Like, y'all hate me this much? <laughs> bro, on the 30s, though. Hey, on Bro, I swear to God, bro. Like, motherfuckers, like, they hate niggas that much. They're that envious because they know they've been throwing bricks and rocks at us for so long. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna just say me. You feel what I'm saying? They've been throwing like, like I feel like God, bro. Like my, I be telling my mama that nigga, I feel like God, bro. Everything Jesus done went through, and nigga throwing stones and nailing nigga down, and nigga and he overpower all that and come back, nigga and win, bro. That's how I feel like, bro. Like I'm God, my nigga, cause I'm not selfish, bro. I'm not selfish, nigga. I'm not a hater, nigga. Nigga, I'm God, nigga. I be so frustrated, bro. Like sometimes with shit, but I, cause I know, like, damn, like you feel me? All it's gonna take is that. A nigga keep making hits, getting millions and millions and millions and millions of views. Why ain't one of you main rappers like nigga? Y'all niggas playing my shit, y'all 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 reposting my shit, y'all rapping my shit. Why ain't none of y'all niggas? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, y'all repost, y'all tag me in it. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. Y'all don't, nigga. Man, let me get on the re nigga remix of this. Nigga, this finna go crazy. Nigga, you already at 15 million views without nobody. Nigga, this by yourself, just on your YouTube channel. Nigga, niggas ain't doing that. Nigga, hold on, and everybody against you. Nigga, fuck that, nigga. I wanna fuck with you, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. They ain't gotta like us, bro. Nigga, I'm finna turn you up, nigga. You a hundred million dollar nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we finna come fuck with you, nigga. And you got a whole team, and your niggas hella tight, nigga. Dre the nigga, Thola, nigga. All these boys tight, you know what I'm saying? Just Torch. Like, it's a whole nigga squad just, I mean, banked up YB. We got a whole motherfucking squad, all different flavors. Nigga, we can rap better than all these niggas, and they know that, bro. Go look, bro. It just be like, Nigga, I don't know if he's shadow banned, nigga. I was just telling my manager this shit, man. I don't know if he's shadow banned or not, man. They doing some shit, man. It's like a motherfucker holding a button like, nigga, nigga, don't let these views count, nigga. You feel me? I don't go fuck a million dollars. million motherfuckers work, uh, watch this shit, nigga. They better say 20,000, nigga, but <laughs> at the end of the motherfucking year. Would you ever like, sign to a, a major? Man, I'm just an ALS. It depends, you feel what I'm saying? It depends, you feel like me? Like, if Birdman came back and gave you the bag you deserved. <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> man, listen, man. Yeah, I fuck with Bird, man, man. I love, I, I love Cash Money, bro. Cause they always call me Cash Money. You dig what I'm saying? Like, ever since I was a little nigga, you feel me? Like, go look at my old pictures and shit. You feel me? It's always like right, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne type shit. Like, always rapping, always a fly nigga, long braids, like army fatigued up, getting money, like nigga dollar sign change. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. my cousin, you feel me? My older cousin. You just call me Cash Money, you feel me? It's a Cash Money lavish, what you want wham. So, like, I always, like, fucked with Cash Money, you dig what I'm saying? I fucked with Cash Money and I fucked with Gucci Mane, but Cash Money was around first, you dig what I'm saying? So, I fuck with Birdman just off that alone because how hard I push for Cash Money, but Cash Money being me. You dig what I'm saying? So, it's, it'll only be right if the paperwork was right and the push was right my nigga i know for sure nigga we would make nigga 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 fuck what's the number though had... what's the number what to sign to sign right now i ain't gonna say that man. ballpark like ballpark <laughs> ballpark m's some m's oh yeah you feel what i'm saying something like 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 hold on no you feel me because at the end of the day if it's with somebody like that yeah you feel what i'm saying like nigga you feel me like you know my worth like he when I had the meeting with him and all that, he knew he was telling me and breaking it down. So you know, you dig what I'm saying? See, everybody don't know. People watching, but people be scared to take a chance with a nigga also. Mm. So by people being scared to take a, a chance, sometimes you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta like, all right, you feel me? I'll take that for now. But nigga, when we, when we double back and hit this grand slam, nigga, you feel me? It's gonna have to uh, 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 quadruple. You feel me? Just on some real nigga shit though, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like doing shows for free when you're trying to get popping mm. versus when you popping. And you could charge a hundred thousand now. You just gotta think like that, and that's how I think. You dig? Nah, I feel it. Um, any new any new music coming? Anything yeah. we could look out for? Yeah, I'm working on a few projects. I'm working on uh, my solo shit. The boss would like to speak to you, part two. That's gonna be grand slam. You dig what I'm saying? I'm working on some shit with my artist right there. You feel me? My nigga just torch. You feel me? He up out of Jacksonville. You feel me? Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. He dope as fuck. We got the uh, Pressure Gang album dropping, you dig what I'm saying? 
I got a few most mixtapes and shit dropping, but that's me and his right there. Did me and bro, if you me dreaded, got some shit we working on. Saying what's your what's your solo shit gonna be called? Daily Revenue. Daily Revenue. Yeah, so I knew mm -hmm. that I just had to make sure. We got the Daily Revenue. Then uh, Banked Up YB up in there. You feel me? He got some shit. He got his tape coming soon. What's your tape called, Banked Up YB? That nigga sleep. <laughs> that nigga over there pooting and giggling, man. He did what I'm saying. We should have put the camera on him. But we got a whole squad, though. We got Prince Quill. Like, I, like I'm going to keep it real, bro. I'm on some shit like really running the label right now, you know what I'm saying? The shit get difficult at times, you dig what I'm saying? Shit get difficult. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? In order to be like the Birdman's, the masterpiece, the uh, the piece from uh, QC and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay Prince? The, yes. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay like on a whole nother level with this shit, you dig what I'm saying? But just like, a nigga gotta be right within you from a nigga gotta have the right teammates, you dig what I'm saying? Like. Cause I done had a lot. I done had to let a lot of niggas go before. Like, bro, I'm cool, bro. Like, cause I get frustrated. You dig know what I'm saying? Now, if I feel like shit ain't working, I get frustrated, bro. And I don't like to. I'd rather let a nigga go than versus be my enemy or some shit like that. You feel me? But I feel like I got a good squad right now. You dig know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just the money got to be generating properly. You feel what I'm saying? Because a nigga spending, spending, spending. But the I need niggas to go so crazy, like. And cause they going crazy. Don't get it fucked up. I believe in these niggas with every ounce of blood in me. But like, I just look at it like if we just in the next few years we gotta be like the cash money. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Or the next few months. You dig what I'm saying? And we could do it. But niggas gotta know. You feel me? You can't. I don't feel like you can point out your hit like, oh, that's my hit. That's my hit. No, I don't feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Because all the songs that's my millions of views. I swear to God, bro. It was the songs I least expected. Like, Have You Ever? That's my biggest song right now. Like, oh, God, bro. Like, I was sitting on that song for months, bro. I did that song in like 15, 20 minutes, nigga, in my kitchen, bro. Wow. When I was on Ankle Monitor, I swear to God, me and Hermanator, bro. So, and I wouldn't even did that, but somebody else paid for the video. And at their video, and they told me, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? You need to uh, do this video, bro. Like, nigga, you can, have this, you can do this video right now, bro, if you do it right now. Like, I didn't even have none of my real niggas right now. It was my partners in there, but they was from Stockton, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I was in Stockton. So it was just, like, a little bit different, you feel me? Niggas don't know that. Like, niggas thought that song, he thought that song was dope, and that's really the reason I did it. Wow. And when I dropped it, it just went wow. crazy like that. How it, many songs are you sitting on right now? Like, are you the type to just create and just keep in the vault? Bro, I got so many songs, bro. Like, no, no bullshit, bro. I got, I got a lot of songs, bro. Damn. Like, I got a lot of songs, and I really had more... You feel me? But I lost my fucking stupid ass bitch, bro. You feel me? And that's why you can't trust no bitch with your shit. Nigga, this bitch fucking kept my fucking hard drive. You dig what I'm saying? Because she was on her feelings wow. and shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? Bitch did some sucker shit. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, motherfuckers don't be respecting it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, they don't respect game. You get what I'm saying? They don't know what they signed up for. But you dig? They don't be respecting the game. And it's like, you feel me? Females be females will fuck up your life, bro. Females will fuck up everything you got going on, and they'll fuck it up knowing that they didn't help you build it. Mm. So I have to understand that. Like I know what a bitch is willing to do. I done had all bad bitches, and I know they all crazy. Like all little motherfucking crazy. Like bad bitches is crazy, bro. Like I swear to God, bro. And I'm a nigga that like a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I like a bad bitch. I like my bitches right. Bitch is pretty. Who has you better bitches, cool. Sack or Texas? Uh, honestly, I've been in Sack for my whole life. Sack has so. slept on with, in terms of females, man. We got nah, some. Nah, nah, we got nah. some joints out there. No, no, no. Sack is cool. <laughs> Hold on, don't get it fucked up. Sack is it's some bad bitches in Sack. Don't get it wrong, but like when you grow up around Sack bitches, like like you know, like bitches fuck homies. Yeah, like yeah. like oh god, like like. All my niggas like got the same baby mamas. Like, oh god, like no cap though, brother. Am I lying, brother? Like it's fucked up, but it's cr it's real though. Am I lying, brother? Like, like I swear to God, like we'll all be in the car, two niggas that had the same baby mama. Damn. Like, oh god, and I'm talking about several though. <laughs> Not like on Jesus Christ, and it's crazy. So me knowing bitches get down like this, like I I don't look at bitches. I look at bitches like okay, 
a certain way, you feel what I'm saying? Versus when I get to Texas and I'm like, damn, you feel what I'm saying? I don't really know nothing about these bitches and Texas is so big, so everybody is raised different and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Sacramento is just like, okay, if you're from the South, we know everything about you. From the Thomas, more than likely, you know what I'm saying? My North niggas know about you. You dig it, I'm saying? Like, some motherfucker yeah, think yeah. they getting away going to the North, but you really, you feel what I'm saying? You ain't getting away. Then you come from the north, going to the south, and nigga, everybody talking like, yeah, that's out of town pussy hits harder. Is that what you're saying, pretty much? Nah, it's just like it ain't even about the pussy. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't fuck with a bitch for the pussy. Mm. You know, I fuck a bitch, and now you're saying I'm a man. You dig? But nigga, I'm trying to get some money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, what can we do? What can we do to to build each other? Like, what can we do? Because at the end of the day, I'm 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 giving with my money. Mm. Like on God, like I'm not a stingy nigga. You feel me? I don't mind buying you some furniture, you know what I'm saying? You got a new spot, you know what I'm saying? You my bitch, you feel what I'm saying? And you contributing to me, I don't mind, you feel me? Hold on, man, you need some couches and love seats for this motherfucker, man. You need some dishes in your kitchen, you need some plates, and you need a, a table and shit like that. I don't mind handling that type of shit, cause that's what a man does, you dig what I'm saying, for his woman, especially when she's his. Motherfuckers don't know how to do that though. Motherfuckers mm. wanna just, you feel me? They feel like, oh, I can get dressed. I can go, I can go buy a fifteen dollar suit from Fashion Nova. You know what I'm saying? My ass poking out. You dig what I'm saying? My titties poking out. I can go buy some motherfucking sandals from DDs. Now I'm a million dollar bitch, nigga. My just cause I got ass and titties on my chest. Like, bitch, hold on, bitch. <laughs> bitch, hold on, bitch. Bitch, you ain't hold the fuck on, man. That is not finna, bitch. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? If your pussy good, man, let, let's distribute it to something, bitch. You <laughs> okay. know what I'm saying? Because, bitch, you ain't got no motherfucking money, man. And yeah, we finna get evicted, bitch. You <laughs> nigga know what I'm saying? Like, like, nigga, fuck all that, man. Oh, we got to get it right. You nigga know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just cracking jokes. Yeah, but, yeah. like, not like, real nigga shit, though. Like, females had their priorities fucked up. And something. one thing about Texas, like, I've never met more black women and men, young men and young women, that own so many businesses mm. like I swear it from houses to storefronts like on God young 19 20 21 22 Airbnbs like I've never seen this shit in Sacramento mm. like on God like I swear to God I'm always thinking it only rich white motherfuckers got the Airbnbs this motherfuckers looking like me us three us niggas over here you feel me renting out Airbnbs four story complex you dig what I'm saying like facts like but in Texas, That's you know dope. what I'm saying? From Dallas to Houston, like for real, for real. So when you go out and meet these bitches at the club and they really acting bougie, not just cause they, cause they look good, but they really acting bougie cause she got a motherfucking Bentley outside. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? She got a G wagon outside. Her and her best friend. You dig what I'm saying? This nigga over here, you feel me? You wondering like who the fuck is he? He really ain't nobody. But this nigga on a motherfucking, uh, 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 um. A foreign motherfucking uh, rental car place. You dig what I'm saying? So he's renting out nothing but Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Lamborghinis, and this nigga only 23. You know what I'm saying? Up, up. You feel me? Like, like everybody dealing with these niggas. So it's like it's like a big old difference. That's yeah. why I, that's why I stayed out there once I went. Cause you know I could drive Rolls Royces out here. I could hop in the Bentley out here. I could ride in a Lamborghini, and the police ain't gonna look at you like who is that nigga? Mm, okay, nah, they okay, got they got professional football teams, professional basketball teams, baseball teams, and all of that all in Houston. You dig mm. what I'm saying? So when I'm riding around in my nice car, or I'm riding around in the blacked out truck, they know it's so many celebrities, so they don't even have to fucking bother you. You have to be doing Doing something for the Houston Police Department or the Dallas Police Department, or you might um, or be in the wrong place for the police to fuck with you. Mm. Man, I ride around all day. The police do not be fucking with you. I'm not in the way. I'm out the way. But I ride around to get from here to there. Mm. But they're not bothering you, bro. Oh God. So it's a mm. that's all that plays a part in. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Be a comfortable because I might have a bad bitch in Sacramento, maybe she might live in Oak Park, man. Hold on, bitch. I can't even come through there. Just real nigga shit. And I like you and you like me too. But you know, even if I wanted to come over there, I can't because you know what I'm saying, people don't like me over whatever they're accusing me of or whatever. But it don't matter. I'm just keeping it real and vice versa to them too. So they like, damn, I like this bitch, but I can't even go up in there, over there, you know what I'm saying? This bitch might be trying to set me up, but really this bitch really wants you to be her way up out of here. She wants you to come pick her up so y'all can go to Texas together. She's like, man, I ain't letting this bitch spend a night up over here, bitch. You live on 8th Avenue, bitch. What's wrong with you, bitch? All right, so as as a... (laughs) Hey, fact, though. As a a businessman, right? I'm curious. um, How uh, aware of you are you of uh, AI, artificial intelligence? Have you dabbled with it yet? Oh, somebody, I think my boy was just telling me. What you tell me about that shit just there? 
Artificial intelligence? Uh, yeah. yeah, you're talking about like the voices and all like that Like chat GPT and shit like that. That's what it's called? And you could back like, like if I'm talking, they could take my voice and do some shit. Oh, like. well, they have the fake AI songs now too and, sh- and and all of that. Like Yeah, I know. I heard about that shit. You're not, you know, you should, uh, you should, uh, you should do some research on it because that shit's going to change the world. Like as an artist, I I would exp- I would think it'd be like, cause they got they got Kanye covering uh, Drake songs and sh- and you know what I'm saying they got like Rihanna singing a SZA song they got all this like AI shit going down so I'm just like what is fake it's fake but it sounds real oh, okay nah so I was just the talking future's, to this dude right here about that shit the future's gonna be wild man best believe that but um I really appreciate you coming sitting down spending some time um. Anything you want to promote before we wrap up? Hey, man, we fucking around. You know what I'm saying? It's banked up entertainment. We're going to always push that. The banked up babies, the banked up boys, pressure gang. You know what I'm saying? Be Stay tuned for all of that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, What is it? Just Lavish D? I don't even really know. But Lavish D, the YouTube channel, you feel me? I'm almost to like um, 300,000 subscribers. Follow me on Instagram at uh, Heavyweight Hank. Be on the lookout for all the artists. You feel me? Just Torch, Prince Drader, Banked Up YB, uh, Prince Quail, Project Bo, uh, Money Money Sport J. You know what I'm saying? Watch out. You feel me? For all of us, we oh, all going oh. up. Oh, yeah. And Thola Thola. You know what I'm saying? The best kept motherfucking secret, man. The secret weapon, man. Thola Thola going crazy, man. Stay tuned, we dropping, you feel me? And if you want to fuck with us, man, just fuck with us, man. Like, we don't want no issues, we don't want no problems, you dig what I'm saying? This was a good interview, I just felt like I had to get that off my chest because I've been having a lot on my mind, and I feel like right now it's the perfect time to express it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't against nobody, I don't want no problems with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, hey, what's already done is done, it is what it is, but if I ain't did nothing to you intentionally or purposely or... Whatever, you ain't did nothing to me. Man, come on, man. Let's work, man. If I'm willing to work, man. Y'all know I got hits. Y'all know I make hits. Y'all know I do numbers. Y'all know I'm popping. Y'all know I look like a mainstream artist, man. You feel me? Come on, give me the chance like y'all gave everybody else, man. You know what I'm saying? And stop the fucking snitching, man. Stop supporting snitches, man. Y'all rap niggas, man, supporting all these snitches, man. We ain't supporting all these snitches, man. Straight the fuck up. I'm talking about these snitches who y'all making rich, man. You feel me? What about the real niggas who, you know what I'm saying, that sat down and did the time and didn't tell, man? Niggas who really got shot, and, you know what I'm saying, and went to the hospital, got sold up, and didn't say a motherfucking thing. Niggas who really caught cases, did they time. You dig what I'm saying? Niggas really got caught with dope and did they time and didn't say shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's, hey. At the end of the day, like like they, like they say, man, they know you don't get no reward for being no real nigga. And I understand that, but hey, all the rat shit gotta stop, man. We ain't fucking with that, man. South Sec Iraq. You heard it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. We out of here. Oh yeah.